what's up friends andrew here welcome back to your tutorial and in this video i'm going to show you how to check in on the eurowings app so the first thing that you really need guys is to find your email that you receive when you purchase that flight right so once you purchase the flight ticket you will receive an email and it will show you the booking code or it will give you some ticket number or something you'll find it for example in the eurowings you'll receive something similar like this and it will show you your booking code it first email general email you'll receive it will show you more de it will show you full details within that email and it will show you the confirmation number or the booking code once you find an email you want to go to the eurowings app then once you download that and you have the app open you want to go to my trips at the bottom the middle option then click and add book trips or on the upper right hand side you want to click a plus and then you can enter the ticket number or the booking code that you receive from your email you also want to enter your last name once you enter the, the valid details here you will have the option there to add the book trip now once you add the trip it's going to show up here in space of this section here that says no trip in sight yet and you will have it and you'll be able to open up that trip something just like this now once the trip is open up right it will show you not arrive but it will show you something like schedule and if it is within 72 hours you should be able to check in and you'll have the option that says checked in and you will be able to check in so once you click and check in it's going to basically allow you to either choose a seat or it's going to automatically assign you a seat and you can also change that if you wish all you have to do is just confirm and continue and continue the process and you'll be checked in it will also show you your return flight if you have a return flight set as well and if it's also within the 72 hours you'll be able to even do the check-in for the return flight if it's longer then it will not show until it's closer to the time but the process are pretty simple you'll be able to check in from there and you can even check your boarding pass and all those good stuff afterwards but that's it guys very easy and very simple